some country biker here. What else do you do on a craptastic day? Heavy as you can see, it's rainy, it's gloomy. It just kind of ticks me off. It's about 55 degrees, it's gonna rain any second. I'm not scared of rain. I'll ride it. But I just don't like cleaning the bike afterwards. You with me on that? So let's talk about boots today. Two months ago, I bought Harley Davidson Hagerman boot. It is a, to me, it's a combination of riding slash casual boot. As you can see, pretty stylish. It's full grain leather, super lightweight, uh, especially compared to the Harley Davidson brake light boot. These things make you walk like Frankenstein's monster. There's really no give to this. However, it might be slightly, slightly more protection, obviously, than this boot. So, I like these boots. They're just not very comfortable, make you walk funny. Let's talk about these. I bought these a couple of months ago at the Harley Davidson dealership for about 140. What I like about this is the comfort. These are the most comfortable boots I've ever had in my life. I'm usually a uh, work boot, red wing, Irish setter type guy. This is my go-to now. Whether I'm saddling up on my bike, whether I'm going to the store or work, I wear these everywhere. The insoles are the most comfortable I've ever seen in my life. It's easy on, easy off, zippered. Can't beat that. I literally wear these everywhere. Um, the break-in period was super short. Um, they never really felt uncomfortable. They just felt like a new stiff shoe, but never hurt me, right? Um, as for a riding boot and strictly for riding, depends on what type of riding that you do, but it, it lacks in ankle protection. As you can see, it's just got this metal Harley Davidson plate. Cool, but not very functional for protection. And uh, really nothing over here on the other side. What, uh, what is really cool about it for riding boot, it's got the extra layer of leather padding right here, and it's double stitched everywhere, full grain leather. Um, Non-slip, or I'm sorry, oil and slip resistant bottoms so if this shoes for you then i strongly recommend it at least go in the store and try them out the girls in there super helpful um one a couple of complaints i do have about these is and it's just minor but it's just me right i'm doing this review so the shoelaces are a little long for my taste so i double knotted mine uh and the biggest complaint the bottoms here the white this used to be much brighter as you can see here um, I don't know how to clean these because the material is kind of like a, a hardened magic eraser so a regular magic eraser will just shred into millions of pieces when you touch this so I, I've yet to find something that will clean it I've tried uh, soap and water with a dish scrubber pad it doesn't work it just gets the main stuff off but like it when it stains it seems like it's there forever so i don't know what do you guys think do you know how to clean this harley davidson chime in help me out so until a much better day i'm gonna call it quits I put this beautiful fat boy back in the garage before a raindrop hits it right thanks for watching